third way of copying an array is using the array copy method. So my comments is in here, copying array using an array copy method. This is our initial array values with has, uh, which has some initial values. Let's create a new array. We'll call it as new values. And then we're going to say new. That means we're going to actually create a new array with the length of the values. So in here, I'm going to say int. And in here, I'm going to say values dot length. So we have declared a new array and we have assigned the length of the new array to the values dot length. Now let's use the array copy method. So we are going to say system dot array copy. And now keep in mind we need our old array values in here. So I'm going to call it as values. And then we need to tell the starting position. So I'm going to say zero. And then we need a new array. That's I'm going to call it as new values, which we already declared it. And we need a starting position for the new array. That is zero again. And then we need to specify the length. So since we are copying from the original array, that's value. So I'm going to say value dot length. Now this is how I copy my array from an older array to a new array. Now let's print our new values and see if it's actually copied. So of course we are going to do the loop. system.out.print and we are going to print the new arrays and of course since we are printing it in single line we are going to add a blank space and now let's compile it and let's run our program and see if it works correctly or not index array out of bounds let's try to fix that value starting is 0 starting position is 0 values dot length we're starting i as 0 i is less than or equal to should not be in here that is the mistake we did. Sometimes it happens. Okay, so this is up. This is printing our. <coughs> it still did not print space between. Oh, there you go. And we can always say system data dot print. New array. values there you go not semicolon it's a colon in here but this is our third way of copying an array